Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, Hello. we can. Yes. Hi, everyone. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Fine. Thank you. Welcome. You? So welcome, everybody. Thank you. I'm doing just great. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, it is a pleasure to meet you. And Inglés Corporativo says welcome to this new uh, process, right? Uh, welcome to this um, challenge and journey that you're taking. Um, I'm super happy to see you like super early, super on time. I think I saw like two or three people here before I was here. So it's so, so cool to see you. How are you doing guys? Hi Jennifer, great to see you, Chrysia. Um, Jose Mar uh, Maria Jose, I think I'm saying names around. Thank you guys for your camera. Thank you, Anna, for your camera. I see Luis. I think I saw, I see Irving there. Chrysia, hi, good evening. Yolanda, good evening. Rafael, thanks a lot for joining. Maria Jose, I see you now. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. I think that more people are joining here. Let me just stop sharing my camera. Give me one sec. Happening to my camera, it looks kind of blurred. All right, there we go. Um, Jasmine, good evening. Fernando, oh, I see the Goberto. I think the Goberto was super early. So thanks a lot for joining. Um, I see Vanessa there, Jennifer. Thank you guys. How are you? How are you feeling? Did you have any problem to connect here? Uh, let me turn to Spanish, okay, for a couple of minutes. Um, solamente para, you know, to say hello, just in case. <laughs> Guys, eh, no sé si me escuchan bien, si me estoy quebrando, am I breaking? Um, si no, it's good. All right, perfect. Si en algún momento I'm breaking, please let me know, because eh, sometimes por la hora, you know, el internet como que se está kind of jammed, and, eh, y puedo buscar otra forma, you know, eh, to make it work. So um, I'm, I'm like super excited because first, es como el primer grupo, this is the first group of the, of the year of 2022. So welcome officially to this journey in this year. I'm very happy to see that, um, que el van tomado, that you have decided to start this journey bastante temprano en el año. Significa que tienen, you know, uh, todas las, la motivación, la gana, right? Um, y el deseo de aprender, de mejorar, de practicar. And I'm super excited um, to listen to you guys, to listen to your voices, to listen to your English. Okay. No sé si han estado practicando. Um, ¿Todos son nuevos o han venido juntitos desde el año pasado, desde módulo uno? Tell me about it, guys. I'm sorry. Lamento por mi voz, pero está un poquito dañada, you know. Creo que es 
gripa flu or something i don't know um so sorry omicron hopefully not <laughs> please don't bring that up on me <laughs> no i'm i'm crossing my fingers that uh, it's just a como flu you know or dust uh -huh, but no okay guys hay alguien que sea nuevo is anybody here kind of new new to this program new to inglés corporativo new to the group o todos me. estaban juntitos alguien dijo me but i don't know who fernando fernando oh, okay fernando welcome fernando es la primera vez que está uh -huh. con el grupo or the first time sí. que está con nosotros con inglés corporativo ambas cosas okay okay perfect so me imagino que entró por examen, right? Uh, yeah. All right, okay, perfect. Great, great, great. Alguien más es nuevo? Is anybody here that is kind of new? No. Okay, nice, nice. They tienen tenure in this program. Okay, that's amazing because ya están un poquito familiarizados con cómo funciona el programa, right? Eh, parte de las de las eh, de los requisitos de Instacorp con respecto a la finalización del programa, and that's amazing. Uh, cada módulo, you know, representa algo diferente, right? Eh, un poquito más de, de push, let's say, right? Y la intención es siempre ayudarles a que vayamos de la mano, right? Y vayamos hasta el siguiente módulo, al siguiente módulo. Pero no solamente irlo pasando, sino también, también que ustedes sientan aquello de, uy, ahora sí practiqué. You know? Uy, ahora sí me dolió la garganta de estar hablando. Uh, ya entiendo más, you know? um, ya me puedo comunicar más, me cuesta menos el vocabulario. So, la idea you know, um, of having you here, guys, es precisamente eso. You know? eh, no ser nosotros los que hablemos. I'm sorry, normalmente yo no hablo mucho. I don't like talking a lot. Um, because... Lo más importante son ustedes, you know. El objetivo es que ustedes hablen, que ustedes practiquen, you know, que ustedes eh, sientan cada día, like, ok, el día de ayer me dio pena, participé una vez, ahora participé dos veces, o ahora entendí más, you know, ahora ya me dio menos miedo, ya lo dije, o no importa si me equivoqué, pero lo dije. So that is going to be the idea. As I mentioned before, um, I'm saying this in Spanish right now, pero normalmente vamos a intentar eh, mantenerlo tal vez 80, 20, all right. Vamos a intentar, español, intentar mantener español lo menos que podamos, the least we can, all right. Pero no en el punto de, de asustarlos, you know, de oh my God, ¿qué estoy haciendo acá? No, <risa> sino en el sentido de, de presionarnos un poquito más todos los días, right. Y que ustedes también se presionen, que ustedes, vaya, si me cuesta un poquito, voy a ir a ver más videos. Voy a intentar escuchar más detenidamente. Voy a preguntar qué significa esta palabra, right? So la idea, guys, es ya que iniciamos este año con el mejor de el, you know, el positivismo a mil, con las ganas de aprender inglés, que los, déjenme ver, tengo ahorita 23, que los 23 que estamos conectados finalicemos el módulo, right? Que nos conectemos todos los días. So let me just get started. Um, les voy a compartir parte de los general aspects para que ya podamos dar inicio, you know, los voy a escuchar, we can practice a little bit and everything. Permítanme, give me one second. Something happened to my slide. Hold on. Give me just, just a sec. Um, I see we got like more people here. I see Claudia, Noemi, good evening. I see Adrián, Sofia, Vanessa, good evening. Uh, Francisco, thank you for your camera. I see Cody there, Chris there as well. I think I see Anna. Good evening, guys, and welcome to the first class that we're going to be having. So this is going to be uh, intermediate uh, number two, right? My name is Julia Sarsaña, so I'm going to be uh, your teacher, this module, well, masking teacher, your facilitator, let's say, the person who's going to be guiding you. Um, solamente tengo un par de general aspects here, some generalities, y luego ya comenzamos, you know, because from moment one, the idea is to practice as much as you can. Um, so, solamente para hacerles un breve, like, summary here, en caso se nos haya olvidado, these are some of the expressions that we are going to be using. 
Um, as we said, vamos a intentar utilizar español the least we can, all right? The least possible. So we can use a couple of expressions like, for example, uh, how do you say, right? How do you spell if you need to write it down? So how do you spell? What does it mean if a word is new to you? Can you repeat it? I'm okay with that. So please, if you don't understand something, if there is a word that you don't get, don't feel scared, don't feel afraid. Uh, please go ahead and ask me. Um, if I don't know, I'm going to be honest with you and I will tell you, I'm sorry, I don't know, uh, but let me investigate, let me check, all right? And I'll come to you with an answer for that. Um, I have a question, right? Those are just some general uh, phrases that we're gonna be trying to, to use this um, from moment one, right? So we are not supposed to be using, ¿Qué dijo? <laughs> okay, or, or so we can use words like, what did she say, all right? Or, um, ¿Y cómo se dice eso? So we can use, how do you say in English? And things like those. So we're gonna try to use, Probably you would say, pero eso es bien básico. I know, but sometimes we normally forget, right? Or we don't really use them, especially cuando vamos a los grupos se nos olvida utilizarlos. Y es como, ay, la teacher no está acá. Hablemos español, right? <laughs> so we're going to try to use or keep it like an English environment as much as possible, okay? Um, so these are the ones. Now, um, let's come a little bit into the part of the considerations. There are a couple of things that we are going to take into account. Uh, for the ones who are old, you already know this. For the ones who are kind of new to the program, this is going to be like just general info. Um, so the first one says complete the homework in the platform daily before the class. Les vamos a, uh, bueno, tenemos una plataforma, right? Uh, la recibieron el acceso dentro de su correo, el correo de confirmación. Eh, igual al finalizar la clase vamos a, um, a ir rapidito a revisarla, cómo entrar, cuál es su correo, cuál es su contraseña, en caso que sean nuevos, right? Si son de antiguo ingreso, let's say, ya conocen su contraseña, ya conocen su correo, si lo cambiaron, igual es la misma, no ha cambiado y tendría que aparecerles el acceso a intermedio número 2. Si a alguien no le aparece todavía, me, nos comentamos o revisamos al finalizar la clase para, you know, que ya quedemos set con esta parte. So, um, como parte de las, del el desarrollo de la plataforma, necesitamos una nota de 8 para tener una nota aprobada, right? A passing score. So, la plataforma les va indicando cuál es el porcentaje que llevan. Eh, de igual forma, podemos siempre adelantar, no hay ningún problema que si usted tiene un día libre, si usted quiere adelantar, por ejemplo, de ahora, quiere completar toda la semana, no hay ningún problema, you can do it, porque de esa manera solventamos solamente eh, preguntas acá y participa participamos mucho más, right? practicamos mucho más y ya no tenemos que ir como eh, pasito a pasito con la parte del vídeo del día, por ejemplo. So, no hay ningún problema que si gusten adelantar por anything. Now, the second part says participate in class actively. Esto es súper importante because la clase no se centra en mí, right? The class eh, is upon you. El objetivo son ustedes. El, el, el focus of the class is you. So, eh, a veces decimos, ah, ya me conecté. Suficiente. Actually, no. Actually, la única forma de saber si voy mejorando es practicando, hablando, right? Uh, si alguien me pregunta, yo voy a intentar decirle y responderle al compañero. So that is pretty much the, the point here. So um, vamos a intentar participar todos los días. Yo sé que no a todos tenemos, no todos um, son, uh, ok. Ok, Fernando, eh, déjeme revisarle. Let me just check. Déjeme igual compartir con los compañeros de de soporte, all right, because eh, puede ser que todavía no está activada para ustedes, o que haya pasado algo y no le está permitiendo. So let me know. Eh, ya vamos a revisar igual. El compañero de soporte is coming in. Some minutes. Okay. So guys, uh, this part of participation, please. Um, I really want to have you here. Okay. Solamente es una hora. Okay. So, es solamente una hora en la que vamos a estar acá y es de aprovecharla al máximo, right? To participate, to speak and everything. Uh, la siguiente es, be nice to everyone. Um, a veces, 
la clase de inglés es como nuestra válvula de escape, ¿no? <ríe> la oportunidad de hablar con otras personas, uh, especialmente ahora por COVID and everything. Uh, se siente muy bien hablar con otras personas, conocer a other people. So, es bien importante, no sabemos por qué situación están pasando los demás, right? So, be nice to everyone, right? Si usted conoce algo, si usted sabe y el otro compañero está, lo ve como muy, muy eh, despistado o no entiende o no sabe lo que está pasando, um, de una forma súper cortés, usted le puede decir, no, lo que vamos a hacer es esto, o lo que esta palabra significa es esto, right? So, try to be nice to everyone. Y se siente muy bien, you know, to help other people as well. Y la última es be on time. Nuestra clase va a ser de 8 a 9 de la noche, de lunes a jueves, right? No tenemos clases viernes. Eh, yo estoy por lo general un par de minutitos antes de las 8. So, lo único que les voy a pedir es eso, try to be on time, eh, para que empezamos a practicar desde el inicio, right? E igual, yo intento respetarles el horario, así que a las 9, a lo mucho les voy a robar un minutito, dos minutitos, right? And that would be it. So, those are just some general things. Give me one second, hold on. Guys, eh, preguntas, dudas, anything. Si no se sienten cómodos activando la, el, el micrófono, right, lo pueden hacer en el chat, so you can write it there. Eh, pueden escribir, you know, para que todos tengan visibilidad o me manden un mensaje, no hay ningún problema. So there is no problem. All right, so... Doubts, questions, nothing? No, no, nothing. Okay, okay, great. Yes, I have a question. Sure, tell me, what's your question? Uh, I don't know if the uh, WhatsApp group is ability now. Uh, yes, it is. Mm, uh, but I don't have the connection. <laughs> sure, well, I cannot add you because that is like a self-service. So in the email that you received, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let, me, let me tell you how it says because I don't remember. It says, but I can connect the with the link. Mm. Oh, but I check later. Yeah, because the link should be working. Okay. Yeah, try. You know, probably it's just jammed. So give it a try, and if if it doesn't work, remind me by the end of the class. So the guys can add you uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So the guys from support can help you with it. Yeah, because I don't have. Uh, uh, Dolores? Okay, give me one second. Uh, Miss Torres? Are you here? Hi. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm just reading your message. So, ¿pertenece a otro grupo? Sí. ¿En qué este, grupo pedí, el, pedí el, el cambio, pero, o sea, me dijeron que sí, pero al final me incorporaron a este siempre. Ok, uh, so, ¿a qué grupo le mandaron, Miss? Básico. Ok. Give me just a second. ¿Tiene acceso a la plataforma? No. Ahorita veo. Dolores Margarita. Torres. Permítame, solo lo notifico. Miss, hágame un favor. ¿Será que me puede mandar un mensaje privado con su número de teléfono para notificar a soporte y que los chicos se, eh, se puedan comunicar con usted y, y ver cuál, qué fue lo que sucedió? Sí, Cori, es intermedio 2. This is intermediate number 2. Ok, guys. Uh, anybody else? Do we have more questions here? Doubts? Gracias a los que activaron la camarita. Thank you so much for that. Especialmente a través de este medio, es la única forma de saber que están ahí. You know? Si alguien se mueve, puedo ver que se está moviendo uh, o si tiene cara de, Dios mío, ¿qué está pasando? I know, I can see your faces, I can read you. I'm here. Y, y es mucho más, es mucho más personal, personal, right? Thank you. Uh, 
Um, so, normalmente with the camera off, me siento como, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> like, como cuando ustedes se ven visto en WhatsApp, right? <laughs> that everybody see you, but you don't know, they don't, they, they don't acknowledge. So, thank you so much for your cameras. Um, it's Hello. Awesome. Hi, hi there. Okay. Something else. Yeah. I say, no, I, I, I can to hear myself. your voices. Uh -huh, yeah. In no, my, the thing in is that... This yes. in my case, I don't have the camera. No, really? What about your cell phone? Oh, okay. by the way, if the computer or your computer has like any issue with the audio, with the camera, uh, se pueden conectar con el teléfono, you know, es mucho más fácil. I think I prefer my cell phone all the time. And uh, eh, es el mismo, right? La misma... De hecho, la conexión a veces es mucho mejor si tiene problemas de internet o el internet no les está cargando o está muy lento o se les está quebrando. So you can also do it through your phone and that's like pretty, pretty cool. All right. Okay. So, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. So let's get started in that case. Um, um, well, hopefully, podemos resolver la dificultad con la cámara, right? And then we can be like ready and we can see you. So that's gonna be super cool. All right, guys, eh, cuando a veces empiezo a hablar un poquito rápido, me emociono. <laughs> so if I'm getting or if I'm talking too fast, let me know. All right, like teacher, you're talking a little fast or teacher slow down and, and I'm okay with that. So let me know, please, eh, if I'm going too fast, if you feel I'm running. So yes, let me know. All right, so let's get started here. Okay, guys, vamos a empezar recordando un poquito de vocabulario. We're going to get started with just a little activity here. Uh, I will ask you, especially because of the vocabulary that we will be checking, I will ask you to get a pencil, get a pen, get a notebook, yeah. get a piece of paper, or get something. Hello? Teacher, give me a yes. moment, please, to yes. go to to take a, a paper and pencil. Oh, sure, sure, no problem, go ahead. So guys, go Thank ahead you. and get a, or in the computer, if that works, okay, a pen, a pencil, a piece of paper, a sheet or paper, anything. Dolores, I already reported. Um, and my coworker says they will contact you tomorrow. Okay, guys, uh, give me confirmation, please, when you are ready. So if you have your pencil ready, you have your piece of paper ready, um, give me confirmation, verbal confirmation, chat confirmation, any confirmation you can give me, please. Uh, Veronica, I am ready. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Okay, thank you, I'm Yolanda. All right, perfect. Thank you, Fernando. I'm ready to. Thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you, Rafael. I'm ready All right, to. no problem. Perfect. Okay, amazing. Okay, guys, so let's get started. For this, we are going to try to remember vocabulary, but we are going to do this fast. Okay, really quick, really, really fast. I'm going to set the timer. Give me one second. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I think 30 seconds is okay. Uh, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, all right, to write a couple of ideas. For example, if I tell you, write 10 countries. So on your notebook, you have to write them like quickly, the fastest you can, all right? But you will have only 30 seconds. Uy, you will have only 30 seconds to do this. When the when the timer is off, the time is over. Okay. Are you ready, guys? Is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Yes. No Spanglish is permitted. <laughs> okay, so you gotta make it English. Okay. No dictionaries, no Spanglish. So yes, try to think fast. Okay. Try to think really, really fast. Let's get started, guys. So the first one, remember, write it on your notebook. Number one, it says, write 10 birds with letter M. 
So write on your notebook 10 birds that go with letter M. You have 30 seconds. You have only 30 seconds to do it. And go. You got 10. Five. And time's over. Okay, guys, so time's over. How many do you have and what verbs do you have with letter M? Seven. Only six. Okay, six, <laughs> seven, one, no, right, but it's okay. Three, three, three okay, birds. that's okay. What do you Only have? Three. Can you tell me the birds? Sorry. It's okay, that's uh, fine. Make, move, make. Mm -hmm. manage, okay. move, move, mark, okay, make, match, me, okay, mean, mean. uh huh, miss, miss, okay, uh, Mary, Mary, yeah, okay, mark, mark, manufacture, okay. manufacture, okay, manage, okay, mil, <coughs> mention. Okay, maintain. Memorize. Memorize. Okay. Oh, very nice. Okay. You got to mark the verb. Mark like marking, right? Okay. Yes. Very nice. Good Sounds okay. good. Sounds good. Okay. You're doing nicely. Let's go with the second. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. Comiste. Porque no vomitas. Uh, wait. I Voy think vomitar. somebody left. <laughs> I'm going to close your microphone <laughs> just in case. <laughs> okay. Please. Okay, guys. Let's go with the next one. 30 seconds. Remember, let's get ready, set, and ready. go. Write the play, uh, 10 places in a city. It's only 30 seconds. Places in a city. Like places in a town, right? Ten seconds. Five. Time's over. Okay, guys, the time's over. What do you have? How ten. many places do you have? Oh, you get the ten. Okay, so what places do you have? Park. 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 Church. 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 Yeah. Supermarket. Bakery. 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 Police station. Yeah. Yes. City Hall Mall, City Hall Mall, uh -huh. College, College. College. Office. Okay, yes, very nice. So you Drug remember store. a couple of them. Drugstore, Drug okay. Grocery store. Grocery store, okay, very good, very good. Sounds really it's nice. Like supermarket. It's a supermarket too. I think I heard somebody said mall, okay. So th that, that was good. That's a very nice list. Okay. Uh, hopefully the others are easy too. We are missing only two, so it is not a lot. Okay, guys, let's get ready. It's only 30 seconds and go. Da -da -da -da. Write 10 objects you can have in your backpack. 10 objects you normally have in your backpack. Mm Ten seconds. Three. And time's over. <laughs> okay, okay. So time's over. What objects do you normally have to, in your backpack? Yeah, or more than ten. More than ten. <laughs> I know. Yes. Women, we normally have like a lot of things. Cookie, candy. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 and everything. What do you have? My I have more than ten, but I don't have uh, uh, candies. <laughs> you don't have candies. Okay. So what do you normally have? Uh, in the charger. Con, like a sanitizer. The some alcohol. Uh, okay. USB memory. A memory? Okay. My laptop. 
Okay. I love them. Okay. Smart, Smart money sharp, coins, nerd, bills. Eraser. <laughs> money and coins so and bills. Eraser, okay. Computer. I'm, I'm sorry, did you say eraser or razor? Eraser. Ah, eraser. eraser. Okay. Yeah, I heard just the Zor, so I didn't know. <laughs> okay, but anyway. Eraser tablet. <laughs> no, I mean, because I don't know, probably you have a razor as well. <laughs> Some companies are very strict with the hygiene. Yeah, so we don't know. Tablet, computer, laptop. Okay, what, what else do you have? Medicine. Medicine. Wow, what do you normally have? Acetaminophen? Aspirin. Aspirin, okay, yeah. What do I have? And I normally have, but I only have like band-aids. Like when you are wearing shoes, uh -huh. so I normally have band-aids. A toothbrush, a toothbrush. A toothbrush, okay. A toothbrush, what else? Yes. What is the strangest thing that you have in your backpack? Do you have toilet paper? Your cell phone charger? <laughs> face mask. A, a, oh, face a face mask, mask. Yes. okay. Or a sanitizer, right? That is a very common now. So we have sunny. Alcohol. Sani. Mm -hmm. Sani. Sanitizer. Normally we call it sanitizer, right? Like the bottle of alcohol or pads with alcohol, we can call them sanitizer mm -hmm. or hand sanitizer. Yeah, I think with COVID, everybody has that. <laughs> okay, okay. And the last one, guys, um, I don't remember the last, but it's very easy, I hope. Okay. Very good job with these three. You're doing wonderful. Let's go with the last 10 words Ooh, to describe yourself. What words do you use to describe yourself? I don't know, probably personality or probably physical description. So what words would you use, okay? You have only 30 seconds, remember? So let's go, 30 seconds. Time. And time is over. Wow, I guess this is the most difficult. <laughs> okay, guys, so what what, uh, what words would you use to describe yourself? Probably physically or like personality. How do you describe yourself? I am small and funny. Okay, so funny, kind of short. Okay, you're high. I'm generous. Generous. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> so, okay. Can you lend? Can you lend us some money? Funny. <laughs> okay. I'm funny. Uh -huh. um, funny. Sometimes I'm doubtful. And sometimes you are. Doubtful. A lot. You hesitate too much. Uh, sometimes so. Doubtful. Exactly. Uh -huh, like like. Like you're like, oh, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Like you, it's yes. hard for yeah, you to exactly. make decisions. Okay. So you hesitate. Exactly. You hesitate a lot. Okay. So you're kind of that fool. All right. What about the rest of you guys? Teacher, what's yes. the meaning of hesitate? Hesitate is that, for example, I'm like, I want to buy a cell phone. Yeah. And I need a cell phone, but I'm like, uh, maybe the mm. cell phone I know but it's too expensive maybe the other I know but I like the other so hesitate is is super hard mm. for you to make decisions uh -huh. so you're like maybe yes but maybe no <laughs> so that is what hesitate. is the word I'm sorry miss uh the, the I I wrote it in the chat how do you write hesitate, hesitate. Uh, thank you how do you, you write the, hesitate yeah it is in the chat so it's H E S I T A T E. Okay, okay. So that is a hesitate. Yes, yes. Sorry, I okay. hesitate a lot. Okay, I'm like, okay. oh, yeah, I hesitate a lot. All teacher, right. teacher, yeah. teacher. Sure. What's the difference between oh. hesitate and doubtful? Um, hesitate is the action. Hesitate and is the verb. And that fool is the, um, as Fernando said, that is like an adjective, a way to describe myself. Mm -hmm. So hesitate is the action. You normally say, I am that fool. 
but you don't say I am hesitate. Yes. You say I hesitate. Uh -huh. So I hesitate a little, okay. or I don't hesitate at all, or I hesitate a lot. Mm -hmm. So what else, guys? Give me okay, more. Give right. me more words. I heard I funny. Have a beard. Rafael? I have a beard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. I have brown, <laughs> brown eyes. Oh, okay. You got brown eyes. What about your yes. personality? I am a joker. Oh, okay. I'm Do you happy. consider yourself kind of a funny person? Mm, yes. <laughs> okay. I got a question. Uh, in the background, I see like some cars. Are you kind yes. of a collector? It's my collection. Oh, can you like get the computer closer? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm super <laughs> curious. <laughs> it's <Sorry>. a PC. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. You cannot move it. Maybe you can share no. a, a picture later. <laughs> yeah, but it caught my attention because they look like cars. So I'm like, wow, that looks very cool. Yes. All right. So they are Mustang. Ah, okay. Yeah, we, we cannot see that like in detail here. All right. But cool, cool for you. All right, guys, Thank what you. about the rest of you? Christia, how do you describe yourself? I am I, um, uh, friendly. Okay. And punctual. Oh, nice. A friendly and punctual. All right. What about the other Christian? <laughs> we have two. So I guess we got Miss Melara and Miss Munoz. Miss Munoz, what about you? Okay. I am um, kind okay. with other people. Oh, all right. And friendly. Okay. And, uh, middle, middle, tall. Okay, like average, average height. So uh, you're not so tall, not so short, average. And chubby. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, there is another word that I like instead of chubby. Uh, that is a uh, plump. So I would say plump. <laughs> because plump, I think is more loving. Uh, uh huh, and, and that that sounds like definitely better. Uh huh. Okay. So a little pump. All right. Cool. Cool. Oh. Let me see. Who has been very very quiet? Um, Gabriela, what about you? Ada or Gabriela? What do you prefer? Gabriela. Okay. So what about you, Gabriela? Uh, I am small. Okay. And a few angry. What do you mean by that? <laughs> do you get, do you get but, angry easily? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, good to but know. But <laughs> I, I, I am funny and friendly. <laughs> Very honest as well. Okay, funny, yes. friendly, but kind of angry. <laughs> yes. Don't mess with Gabriel. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, good. Um, I think I couldn't listen. Fernando, your question about plum, uh, that refers to a person um, in, in English, probably you have heard the word fat or you have heard the word shabby. Uh, oh, okay. uh, so, but I like the word plum better because plum um, is not a, um, like a hard word, let's say. It's not tough on people. So plum is oh, okay. just like in a cute way, right? Like rellenito. So that's why I prefer like that gordito. a little better. <laughs> yeah, but in a cool way, uh -huh, in a very cool way. So that's why I prefer it. Better. Okay. Okay, guys. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. We are going to get started with part of the of the video, right? That we have for today, part of the class. And guys, um, I know that is day number one. We do have to cover some specific scenario. Um, probably because of the time we won't we won't have like a lot of time to practice today but tomorrow because today I have spoken a lot but tomorrow is going to be like the starting of your practice so get ready I'm going to let you know why <laughs> okay um, guys I just got a question for you are you familiar with phrasal verbs have you ever heard the, the word phrasal verb Anybody? No. Is that new for you? Okay, let me let me ask you this in a different way. Okay, I see Sofia saying yes. All right. For example, guys, how do you say despertarse? 
Wake up. Wake up. Okay, and levantarse. Wake up. Get up. Get up. Okay, very good. How do you say, for example, encender algo like like the lights? Get turn on. Turn on. Okay. Apagarlo. Turn on. Ah, we're good. Okay. What about the volume? For example, when you're listening to music, when you're watching TV, and the volume is too high. How would you say, bajele? How would you say that? Turn it down. Oh, Turn very down. nice. Okay, okay. What about darse por vencido? How would you say darse por vencido? Oh, cool. Okay. Can you give me another way to say continue? Like a synonym of continue? Continue. Another going. way? Go Keep ahead. going. Oh, go ahead. Keep going. Very good. What about when you are talking to a person, you get angry as well as Gabriela? <laughs> and then <laughs> cuelgan. How would you say colgar? Hang up. Oh, very good. Hang up. Exactly. Very nice. I'm super excited, guys. Okay. All those words that you previously mentioned, they are called phrasal verbs. Okay. That means phrasal. you don't have one verb or one word, but you have two. And the two, they have one meaning. So that is a phrasal verb. The only way, yeah, that we are going to learn this, don't complicate your life, okay? Don't try to understand what it is, just memorize them. And that is what we will start doing today. We are going to go little by little, practicing, memorizing, getting familiar with them, okay? And to get us started, I wanna show you Wait, I want to uh, show you one video here that is part of the session um, so we can get started with this. Give me one sec. Let me just share my audio. I don't know if you have uh, access to the platform, but if you haven't, don't worry. We are going to do this together. This is the uh, se section 1.1. .1. This is number one. This is called no problem, but I want you to focus in what we listen to, right? I want you to focus in the, um, the conversation that we have and the meaning of the words, of, of course. So give me one second. I'm going to mute my microphone. I'm going to mute yours so we can listen to this. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Listen and practice. All right, guys. So let's take a look at this little conversation first. And let's identify, okay, the phrasal verb. Remember, phrasal verb is the combination of two words, but they have only one meaning, okay? So for example, in the line number one, you see torn down. So turn down the TV. I'm not saying apagelo, right? So what is the person saying? Turn down. Lower volume. Lower the volume, exactly. Ay, that is rock. That is reggaeton, right? Oh, can you turn it down? All right. I don't want to listen to that. <laughs> so that is turn down. So turn down. We're talking about the volume. What is the opposite? Imagine, for example, that you're listening to, I don't know, you're listening to, what is your favorite mm -hmm. singer, guys? Turn up. Uh-huh, the opposite will be turn up. For example, when I listen to the Queen, yeah, so I'm like, hey, turn it up, right? Or I listen to Imagine Dragons that are my favorite, I'm like, hey, turn it up. So we have turn down. Or, yes? Or increase volume. Increase decrease volume. the volume exactly so decrease the volume uh it is more common increase though. increase increase turn up the opposite would increase. be increase and turn, turn down would be decrease increase exactly so we have this one turn increase. down and turn up 
increase. All right. Increase the opposite of decrease. Yep. Increase. Um, so that is exactly what you have right here. So, okay, I will turn it down. Yeah, so I will lower it a little bit. Yeah, so turn down, like put it down, right? Lower. Yes. Yeah. The name of the words, but the name of the words. Oh, sure. We call them phrasal. We call them phrasal. Phrase. I will show you them in a moment. Don't worry. <laughs> I will show them to you. Okay. So the other one, guys, we have is this one. Pick up, right? So we are not talking about cars. So pick up is something is on the floor. Hey, pick it up, right? So can you pick up my notebook? Can you pick up my shoes, right? So pick up. So something that is on the floor, right? Um, what is the other one? Do you see another one? Hang up. Mm -hmm. Hang up. So uh, look at this. In a minute, mom, I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. Do it as soon as you hang up. I think somebody said that before. So you are on the phone and then, so that is hang up, all right? Um, normally we do this when we are angry, when we finish the conversation, right? We simply, we simply hang it up, right? So those are, let me see, one, we got two, we got three, and we have four phrasal verbs right here. We are going to make a couple of examples. Don't worry about it. Now, um, I'm going to show you a couple of more phrasal verbs that are super common and that I have selected for you. So, part of the phrasal verbs that we are going to be checking are these. This is the name, phrasal verbs. So here we have four more, right? We have turn on, right? Like with the lights, with the TV, with the computer, and the opposite, turn off. So it says, start or stop the power. Like, can you turn off the music? Can you turn off the lights? Can you give me another example of turn off? What do you normally turn off when you leave your house? We turn off the lights. We turn off the TV. What do you normally turn off? The laptop. Okay, the laptop. The microwave. The microwave, exactly. Even we unplug it, mm -hmm, so we turn it off. Okay. The other one we have here is calm down. All right. It says relax after being angry. So when a person is super angry, you can tell them, hey, calm down. Okay, relax. So this is relax. So calm down. You can sit with us after you have come down, right? So calm down, like take it easy, relax, calm down, okay? Uh, normally here, you don't pronounce L, it's just calm, calm down. The other one, somebody said this, that is give up, right? Um, have you ever given up on something? When you stop trying, when you quit, right? Like an exercise is too difficult if we are talking about a school, and you say, I know, I don't want to continue. <laughs> so you give up, right? Or you give up a person or you give up on doing something, right? And the other one, that is the last one that we have is hold on. Hold on is very common, especially on the phone, right? So it's like, wait for a moment. You don't need to say, or you don't need to tell a person, wait, you can tell them, hold on, okay? So hold on is, wait, the same. So wait for one minute or hold on one minute. I'm on the phone. Like, wait. Yeah. Um, guys, are we okay with this? Do you have any question here? No. no questions. Okay. So let's come back again. We have turn on and turn off, right? We have come down. We have give up. We have hold on. <laughs> Uh, in the video, we saw these others that are uh, turn up, right? So turn down. Uh, we don't have turn up, but you can also use it. So turn up or turn down. Pick up, right? Pick up the things from the floor, um, from the ground, or hang up. When you're talking to a person and you don't want to talk to the person anymore. So pretty much that's it. Okay, guys. So, 
I we have 12 minutes, so I think that we do have enough time. Let's do something. Um, no questions, no doubts, nothing. We're good. No. Wow. No. Uh, wow. No. I have some questions. I'm very for good you. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm, 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 I get worried when people don't have questions because I'm like, wait, did they get it clear? Did they know that already? Or, but we are going to discover this right now. Okay, well, we will do 40, guys. 40%. In... Uh -huh, so 40%, like, okay. maybe. So, what we will do, guys, is the following. I want you to make examples, but I don't want you to write examples. I just want you to make them orally, okay? So okay. we are going to make some groups, okay? And in the groups, I want you to try to give as many examples with these phrasal verbs. Again, don't write them. The idea is not to make a list and write them, but the idea is to listen to your classmate, use them, and try to say, can we use it that way? Is that the way we use it or not? And if you are not sure if you can use it or not, write it on your notebook. And when we come back, you let us know and we discuss it, okay? So again, for example, um, let me go back with this one. Okay, for example, I got a come down. So when my sister is very excited, I try to come her down. I try to, um, I talk to her, yeah, to calm her down. Um, when I am probably stressed, what I do to calm down, so we are going to use these phrasal verbs in real scenarios, right? So give examples, give sentences. It can be something real, okay? So try to use them. So um, when I'm stressed to calm down, I do exercise, I go running, or I listen to music super loud, okay? So try to use them, guys. Try to use them as much as you can. I'm going to give you only five minutes because of the time. Uh, try to give as many examples as you can. If you are not sure, it's okay. Give your example, and we check it later. And uh, remember, you will not listen to me, but I will be like checking on you, right, in case you have questions. Guys, um, let's go to the groups, please. If you are in your cell phone, you will see something like you have been invited to the group. If you are in the computer, you will see there the invitation. Give examples to your classmates and I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, please, si alguien tiene dificultades entrando, let me know. Me indican para poder enviarles la invitación nuevamente. Me falta Francisco. I'm missing Ada. Well, Gabriela. Uh, ¿Qué más me falta? I'm missing María José. Mi I'm teacher. Silvia. Está en la computadora, ¿verdad, Gabriela? No, teléfono. Vaya, permita. Oh, ok. En su teléfono, dele, dele como con el dedito, ¿verdad? Slide. Y si se fijan, en la parte izquierda, en la parte superior, le va a aparecer un cuadro. Sala de grupo. Sí, exacto. Ah, ahí, ah, ahí aparece siempre. Ah, right. Le da solo ahí ya, ya estuvo. Eh, Ana Silvia, Francisco, me indican si necesitan asistencia. Claudia. Claudia, le acabo de enviar la invitación. working in a program and in a moment I I gave up because it was difficult for me. Okay, I have a, a, a sentence. I don't know if if correct, but I going to tell you guys. I calm down when my daughters make me feel angry. Oh, do you understand? Please. Yeah. I calm down. I think we got it. So you try to calm down when your daughter makes you feel angry. But how? Yeah. How do you calm down? What do you do? I calm down when 
I make er I make exercise. Oh, or... okay. Okay, that's correct. Yes, that is correct. So that is the way for you to relax. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Another, another person. Maybe I try. Sure, uh, go ahead. It is not necessary to write them, just say it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I pick up a fruit when I don't have time to to have a to have my lunch. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't know the correct. <laughs> yes, yes, that sounds good. Like you select a fruit. Okay. Yeah, okay. sounds good. Mm -hmm. But for your lunch, I do it for breakfast. <laughs> so when I don't have time for breakfast, I go and get an apple. But for lunch, no. My it's, stomach. It's the, first time. <laughs> it's the first time to have in my mind, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that is a very nice example. Yeah, my, my stomach okay. keeps asking me for food. <laughs> okay. okay, sounds good. That's a good example. Mr. Lopez, Mr. Rodriguez, are you ready? I see Gabriela like thinking so deeply. <laughs> Come on, Gabriela, go ahead. I see Veronica there. Uh, I try. In my case, when I get hungry with my children, hold, hold on when five minutes. Okay, uh, so when you say hold on, you mean like you count or you try to breathe or what do you do? When I get angry. Uh -huh. so, so what do you do? Uh, hold for, I don't know. <laughs> Like, for example, when you are angry, you stay away. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So you hold on to your thoughts <laughs> in case you don't punish them or something. <laughs> okay. All right. Richard. Sure. In case... When, when when my son is watching TV, mm -hmm. uh, I say him that uh, he has uh, turned down the TV. Oh, okay. So especially the cartoons, I imagine, like animated things. Okay, and, and especially in the night. Ah, uh, okay. That's a good point. Okay. Very good example. Very good example. Do you have more examples, guys? We have eight phrasal verbs. So you have hold on, you have give up, you have turn on, turn off, turn up, turn down, hang up, right? Uh, pick up, so you have a couple of words. Um, try to continue thinking about it, and I'll see you in a minute. So I always pick up the trash. Got it, got it is, is another phrasal verb, right? That's it's right. Break down. Got it. Or get, get it. No. Yeah, get it. I get, get it. it. Get it. You know. I get it. Get it. It's like uh, uh, I got it. You it's like uh, good job. Exactly. Say good job. Okay. Hi guys. How how you doing here? Are are you doing? Hey, Did teacher. you come up with a couple of examples? Was it easy? Was it difficult? What are your thoughts? Oh, uh, so-so. So-so. <laughs> okay, okay. It's average. <laughs> average, okay. <laughs> so what was, the, what was the hardest? What was the hardest phrasal verb? Mm. Or they are not that difficult so far? No. A piece of cake. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm super glad. Because people say that phrasal verbs are the most difficult things in English. 
So I'm super happy that you got them so easily. That is amazing. So because of the time, guys, let's go back. Give me just a moment. Hold on. Okay. Hi, guys. And thanks a lot for coming back. All right. So I'm super happy to hear that most of you got it like super easily, fast. So that is amazing. That's really good. Um, can you give me a couple of examples super quick? Can you give me an example with pick up, please? I, I always it. pick up the trash. I always pick up the trash. Who else? I get up early. I get up early. Okay, that's all right. That's good. Anybody else? Oh, when I go to the work, I pick up my things and uh, put into them, into my pocket or uh, back. Okay, okay. Thing. No, I don't know how to say. Backpack. Yeah, in, in your backpack. All right, cool. Backpack. What about give up? Can you give me an example with give up? Give up. We never give up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we shouldn't. We never up. give up too. We shouldn't. All right. Another example. Hang up. What about hang up? When I'm angry and I'm in a car with my boyfriend, you know, <laughs> just I hang, hang up. up. <laughs> okay. So you just simply hang up. All right. Oh, very nice. Okay. Sounds really, really cool. I was telling one of the groups, I'm very excited because normally people say that phrasal verbs are hard, you know, but I'm super excited to hear that you got it like instantly. Super, super cool. All right. So it is about time, guys. Uh, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. It is about time. So mm -hmm. I just got a couple of things here. Um, so. Parte de las actividades que vamos a hacer todos los días uh, son las siguientes. Normally, eh, vamos... Uy, eso se movió. I'm sorry about that. Ok. So, normally, vamos a intentar completar un par de actividades. La primera es, vamos a hacer los ejercicios de la plataforma de forma diaria. Right? Every single thing. La segunda es, en, el, en el, la plataforma no tenemos mucho listening. Pero necesitamos listening, you know. Eh, para que nuestro vocabulario incremente, para que nuestra pronunciación mejore también. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Les voy a mandar, ahorita que terminemos, les voy a mandar un video, right, para que lo escuchemos o, o lo veamos tantas veces como sea posible, sin subtítulo, claro, ok, y escribamos sí, sí. así cortito en dos, tres líneas de qué es el video. Puede ser presente, puede ser en pasado, puede ser como usted quiera. La idea es que escuchemos, you know, que entendamos de qué se trata. Si es necesario escucharlo 20 veces, háganlo, no hay ningún problema. De eso se trata el listening, right? de, de ponerle eh, mucha atención a lo que se está diciendo. Adicionalmente, eh, el video de ahora tenía mucho vocabulario. So les voy a pedir que para el día de mañana, guys, Escribamos una, una oración, ahora sí, escríbanla, escriban una oración, write a sentence, por cada una de las phrasal words que vimos. So write a sentence for each phrasal word. Okay. ¿Cuáles son las phrasal words que vimos? Vimos, por ejemplo, hang up, right? Vimos uh, turn down, um, hang up, turn down, pick up. Up, give up, turn on, encender y también apagar, turn off, come down, come down, y nos hace falta acá, hold on. So, vamos a escribir una oración, right, utilizándolas. Por ejemplo, con give up. I never give up. That's okay. Turn on. Eh, I turn on the light when I leave my house. So, con las mismas que acabamos de ver. Dígame, Sofía. Mm, que si puedo tomarle foto y, y mandársela por WhatsApp. O oh, usted la va a revisar una por una. 
Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. En la plataforma, debajo del vídeo, ustedes pueden escribir. Entonces vamos a habilitar. Ahora no se puede, eh, pero el día de mañana ya va a estar habilitado el espacio para que esta tarea usted la suba. Digamos, usted entra en la plataforma y ahí la va a escribir. Eh, les voy a comentar más o menos, eh, para quienes no han visto la plataforma todavía, la forma como aparece. Sorry, les voy a robar un par de minutitos acá. Uh, ¿quiénes, ¿Quiénes no han entrado todavía en la plataforma, guys? Creo que solo... ¿Francisco? Yo no he entrado, teacher. Okay. Me too, teacher. Yo tampoco. Alguien me decía que no tenían acceso. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Bye. So, eh, está dividida en cinco unidades, right? La que vamos eh, a estar revisando durante esta semana es esta, que es no problem. Entramos acá. Y... Ajá, va a tomar tiempo. <ríe> ok. Y la primera que aparece acá es este video que dice Turn Down the TV. Entonces, acá es el video que les puse el día de ahora. Um, oh, ya está acá. It's here. So se los voy a publicar acá. I'm going to post it here para que ustedes puedan escribirlos. So um, se los voy a publicar de tal manera que abajito de este vídeo ustedes pongan sus ejemplos acá, exactamente al borde. Creo que ahorita no nos va a dejar y a ustedes tampoco les va a dejar editarlo, pero el día de mañana ya tendría que estar listo. Lo que les comentaba anteriormente es que ustedes pueden entrar acá y pueden completar los ejercicios que aparecen. Eh, por adelantado, right? no es necesario que vayamos esperando. Ustedes pueden ver los videos con antelación e irlos completando aquí. Dígame, Silvia. Teacher, can you uh, say um, the steps to to um... to login? Yes. <laughs> sure. Um, I don't know if I will be able to. Um, en el correo de igual forma cuando ustedes entraron mm -hmm. les decía les enviaba el link para poder entrar right acá a la plataforma y vamos a hacerlo con el correo que ustedes registraron y la contraseña es genérica so, si usted ya estuvo con nosotros eh, y nunca cambió su contraseña es 1 2 3 4 5 si usted ya la cambió es la contraseña que usted anteriormente había escogido si usted es la primera vez que va a entrar esta es como le aparece la plataforma. So, aparece como inglés corporativo. Venimos acá a iniciar sesión. Vamos a registrar acá el correo que ustedes eh, brindaron, right? Y luego la contraseña que... Si es la primera vez, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Si ya tiene una contraseña, es la misma. Les aparece acá en mis cursos y aparece como inglés intermedio módulo 2. Creo que alguien me comentó que estaba bloqueado. So, solamente eh, déjenme corroborar eso o permítanme ver si ya todos tienen acceso. Igual, si tienen acceso, porfa, les voy a pedir que en el grupo de WhatsApp eh, vayamos escribiendo, right? Que ya tenemos acceso para estar seguros o pongamos solo un emoji, like I have access or something, para ya saber. Si alguien tiene dificultades, puede escribirlo en el grupo, guys, o me puede escribir directamente. Um, Solo me tienen por ahí un poquito de paciencia. A veces tardo en contestar, pero, pero sí les voy a contestar, right? O, o si pues me tardo mucho tiempo, vuelvo a me escribir. <ríe> I'm okay with that. Eh, guys, solamente revisen que todos tengan acceso. Eh, let me know, please, si todavía les aparece bloqueado. Vamos a darle tiempo hasta el día de mañana, you know, para que ya esté todo bien. So, las actividades para el día de mañana. Number one, eh, si tienen dificultades con el video, véanlo nuevamente. Las clases van a quedar grabadas, right? So, normalmente las posteamos ahí. Eh, number two, tenemos la, hay que escribir un ejemplo por cada una de las phrasal verbs que vimos ahora, que son ocho. And, oh, ¿qué más, qué más? Y ya les voy a mandar el link del video para que lo puedan hacer durante el transcurso del día. No les va a tomar mucho tiempo, no son tareas de una hora. Ok, don't worry. <ríe> Solamente son tareas de cinco minutitos. Escuchen, véanlo, uh, busquen el vocabulario, right? Escriban de qué se trata y me lo postean ahí. Díganme, Silvia. O no sé si se le quedó la mano arriba. Ok. <ríe> ok, guys. So, sorry about that. Eh, ya les robé un par de minutitos. Solamente si me pueden activar la camarita, porfa, para tomarles la foto de inicio del módulo. Right. 
and, um, y para que ya les quedan, la puedan postear ustedes también. So, guys, si tienen camarita, eh, Claudia, Verónica, Jennifer, I don't know if you can help us with the camera, Jasmine. Pueden poner un emoji too, that's fine. So that can work. I think they are not there. Okay. Let me just take your picture. So, smile, wait. Luis. Okay, no worries, Luis. So hopefully we can have it for tomorrow. Ah, ya se puse agarrar. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing this uh, with you in a couple of seconds in the group. Si alguien no está en el grupo de WhatsApp, revise su correo, please. Ahí está el link para que usted solito se agregue. Um, si el día de mañana todavía tienen alguna dificultad con el link, me dicen para ver de qué manera les solventamos con ello. E igual, si no pueden entrar al correo, eh, let me know. Enrique, acabo de revisar su, eh, el mensaje que me envió. Si gusta, escríbanme a WhatsApp. Sir, um, y para ver de qué manera le podemos brindar una solución. So yes, let me know. All right. Gracias, chicos. Un placer conocerlos. Get ready for tomorrow. Mañana sí vamos a hablar like as much as we can. Have a good night and good bye, night everybody. Before. See good you. Night bye. 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 B